Good evening, Mesquite ISD families and community. I am Christy Davis, Mesquite ISD Director of Counseling. Tonight, we are so excited to talk to you about Social Emotional Learning, or SEL. This is an important topic because SEL is for everyone, from our littlest pre-K students all the way to our adult staff. A good foundation of social emotional learning is what keeps students focused and ready to learn each day. You may have heard about SEL as it has become somewhat of a buzzword recently, but that's a good thing because it is important. It is research-based and backed by data. It gets your brain ready to accept new information, retain the things you've already learned, and make you a better team and community member. And it gives you the skills necessary to be a successful adult. SEL is for all students, regardless of age, experience, or background. Everyone benefits from taking care of their mental health. So what is it exactly? It's learning the skills of self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skills, and responsible decision-making. In MISD, we consulted with the leading experts in SEL to adapt the traditional model of SEL to the unique needs of our students in MISD and developed our CARE model. This model covers our four SEL domains, connection, awareness, resilience, and empathy. All of our social emotional learning falls in one of these four domains and the impact on self, family, community, and our world. MISD has made SEL important on our campuses since 2017, making us a leader in North Texas prior to the pandemic. Since the start of the pandemic, we knew social emotional learning and mental health is more important than ever. This year, we have taken a renewed approach with district-wide initiatives and more training for teachers and staff. You might be wondering what this looks like in your child's school or the schools in your neighborhood. Let's take a look at what they are doing at Agnew Middle School to build connections with their students. My name is Tamara Jeffrey, and I'm one of the counselors at Agnew Middle School in Mesquite ISD. We recognize that teachers get more out of students if they feel safe, supported, and known well in their classrooms. Teachers that meet with their students consistently each morning are providing a safe space for students to share and build a classroom community. Morning meetings set the tone for respectful learning, establish a climate of trust, motivate students to feel significant, create empathy, encourage collaboration, and support social, emotional, and academic learning. Social emotional learning is important at my school because middle school students are going through a lot of changes and may not know what to do with their emotions or how to interact in certain situations with peers and adults. By incorporating social emotional learning in our school, we are able to give students the tools that they need to develop strong decision-making skills, maintain positive relationships, and build better interpersonal skills to cope with life. As you can see, by spending just a few minutes every morning with a morning meeting, teachers and students can build a connection and set them up for a great day, focused and ready to learn. That was one of our middle schools. Now let's see what SEL in practice looks like at Shands Elementary. I'm Meryl Ortiz, the school counselor at Shands, and one of the social emotional learning or SEL lessons that I like to do with my students is teaching them about empathy. Our students do recognize and know when other students might not be feeling well, when they might be feeling sad or down, but then they don't know how to respond or how to react in those situations. So I like to tell them a little bit about empathy and then lead that with kindness, how our acts of kindness can really help and truly help other students feel better. Just by doing a little bit, just by sprinkling a little bit of kindness in each and every day, we might be able to lift up those students that might not be feeling so well. Did you see those little ones learning about empathy? What a powerful skill to learn at such a young age. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. Can you imagine what it would feel like if more people were able to stop, try to understand the experience and the perspective of others, and then respond with kindness? Hopefully, by starting our youngest learners with this important skill, we will see them become adults who have more consideration for the experience of others. Now let's take a look at West Mesquite High School and what this looks like in a rigorous AP classroom of our oldest students. 
Hi, my name is Kelly Bender and I teach at West Mesquite High School. I am a science and a math teacher here and we incorporate SCL into our academic curriculum, ideally on a daily basis. So we start every class of mine with some breathing exercises so the kids can help kind of get centered and get focused, get rid of any distractions that they might have going on outside of the classroom or um, at home, uh, on social media, just a way for them to just kind of get centered and focus on what they can take care of there in the present, which at the time is hopefully their academics, um, and so that they can be nice and and focused for a, a full 90 minutes, which is a long time sometimes for a teenager. And from there, we try to incorporate SCL practices into their lesson, both building a community with them as well as building a community and rapport with myself. We spend the first two weeks of school uh, making sure, in addition to knowing me, knowing all of them, making sure that they know one another and they realize that class really is a team effort and that um, they do better when they help one another and they build their community that way. We work on simple things like saying please and thank you to our group members um, and just kind of remembering uh, what it's like to, uh, to work with a group in person and to, to treat people well on a regular basis. We incorporate all of this into their academics so that they are building their confidence, building their skills, um, while they're also being successful in the classroom and proving to themselves that they can do these challenging things that are in the classroom. And hopefully these skills will start to carry them, um, carry them other places and they can use them in their other situations in their everyday life after they leave high school. Saying please, saying thank you, learning people's names, looking them in the eye, knowing that they can do anything they want if they just keep trying. When those students were able to start the lesson focused and not distracted by the outside world, they were able to learn and retain the information in a different way. They were also building some great relationship skills, which will serve them well once they leave high school and enter the workforce. Building those skills of resilience when something is hard is so important because how many times have we wanted to give up when we didn't get it the first time? This is a great example of multiple SEL skills being taught in conjunction with a rigorous curriculum. Next up, we have the Mesquite Academy, highlighting one of their best SEL tools. Hi, I'm Deb McDonald, and this is the wellness room at Mesquite Academy. This room is serving as a multifunctional area where a lot of different things can go on. Primarily, we have a counseling area over here where I speak to kids one-on-one. -on -one. During the day, it's used for a lot of different things. Kids come in here when they're stressed out sometimes and just need a place to chill. It's designed so that it doesn't feel like walking into a classroom. It feels like you're walking out of the school and into a peaceful spa-like atmosphere. We have areas where kids can work one-on-one. -on -one. We have a meeting area for groups and we do conduct support groups in here. There's a table where activities go on, meetings go on, and then we have our little chill down area with the bean bags where kids just come and hang. So we found this room to be very beneficial for our students when they're having a rough day or they're stressed out about things. They have a little oasis that they can walk into, but something like this could just help students out to bring them back down when they need to be down or help them encourage them to stay in school and just have a little place a respite from the stress of the day sometimes. Mesquite Academy did a great job getting creative with their space and creating something that meets the needs of multiple students in a variety of ways. They can put their SEL skills into practice take the moment they need and return to learning. What a powerful skill to know when to step away refocus yourself and return to the assignment or project that you're working on. At Mesquite Academy, they have given students a safe place to do that every day. Let's see what Get to Green means in MISD for some of our older students at Woolley Middle School. Hi, I'm Amber Reese and I'm one of the counselors at Woolley Middle School and I'm going to talk a little bit about Get to Green and mindfulness. One of the lessons that we talk about in middle school for SEL is the Get to Green lesson and mindfulness. In our Woolley classrooms we have posters and signage that remind the students that the goal is to 
get to green. When we're in the green zone, we are connected. All the things we're focused, we're engaged. Mindfulness means being aware of what is happening right now and how you feel about it. We want to encourage the students to breathe, listen, see, touch, and smile. Communication is key. An adolescent's ability to communicate their wants and needs is critical for both their social and academic success. Learning mindfulness is a great start to being ready to learn. Knowing when you're not in the green zone and the tools that you can use to get back to the green zone is a key focus of MISD counselors. It is okay and normal to not always be in the green zone, but if we're learning our best in that green zone, then we have to learn how we get back to it. Wooly gave just a little window into what is being taught at each of our secondary campuses. Gray Elementary is going to show you next what green space means in MISD. They've been doing it since 2017, but the district made the decision this year to use grant money to fund a green space for every single classroom in the district. Hi, I'm Amanda Carroll and I'm the school counselor here at Gray Elementary and I'm going to talk about green spaces. So here at Gray, we implemented green spaces in 2018, and every classroom has a location in their room where kids can go when they feel that they need a moment to self-regulate, to take a moment to be mindful and recognize their emotions. And they go to this location. There are things in the space, uh, stress balls and glitter bottles. They can take a minute, uh, three to five minutes, and they take some time to breathe and regulate their emotions. It is not a punitive thing, which is so amazing because kids can go there on their own accord when they feel they just need a minute instead of flipping their lid and having to leave the classroom. We want our kids in the classroom. And this location has really allowed our kids to recognize their emotions, feel safe enough to have a place in the classroom to go there, and then rejoin their classrooms as quickly as possible. What a powerful space to use just three to five minutes of the day to get back to learning without leaving the classroom when things feel difficult or hard to manage. As we see these put in across the district in the next year, they will look different according to students' age, but the need and the importance doesn't change. Gray saw a need for the self-regulation places in 2017 and their discipline referrals and extreme behaviors have gone down 71% since then. Since the pandemic, we can all agree that the need is greater. Things feel harder and heavier than they ever have, and we've been very intentional to evaluate the needs of our students and pivot to meet those needs. MISD has some big plans moving forward as we continue to address our students' SEL needs, including the use of technology, but it will always have a basis in connection and self-regulation. We hope that this has answered some of your questions about SEL and MISD and you have a greater understanding of what your students are learning in schools and classrooms. MISD counselors, teachers, and staff are always here to support your students' social-emotional learning and want to be a part of growing them into adults with these skills. Thank you for joining this effort at home and we look forward to continuing to work with our families as we build our students' social and emotional skills. Thank you.